Well, it wouldn't be Florida without this. A heavy tropical rainstorm coming down just prior to kickoff here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Two one-loss teams set to lace it up. This ought to be fun, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fields this way up at the 17. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Pollard again. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line, got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. First down, Richardson. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge. And those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Ali! 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Third and long for Richardson. Try to lay one up deep. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. And this Charles, definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. No gain on the play there, second down. There's Prescott. That's complete to John Ross. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. A very solid gain of 20. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Going to run again here with Pollard. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Oh, 
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Evan Ingram. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception given up the score you're down double digits they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here no doubt about it and when we look at that sideline i'm sure you're observing the same thing i am i don't like the body language at all they look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief so to me we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play i think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now they need something positive to happen and they need for it to happen now they get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Richardson on third and short. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Swinging this out for Pollard. And some room to work. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got him the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Meanwhile, Dax throw here, taken in by Knox. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point up and good by Garibay. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set. 
The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Richardson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And the Bucs are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Here we go, here we go. Six yards left on second down. Second down, here's Richardson. A quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections, they want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. The Bucks on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. Now it's Richardson. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Garibay on to attempt the point after. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? But well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. So, Charles, this, you know, game number two in the NFL career, this rookie quarterback, his guys took the loss in the opener. And when asked after that game by reporters how he did, he was pretty curt. He said, not well. What did you see? Well, first and foremost, I loved his answer to the media because he was being honest. And those veterans in the locker room, 
they're looking at him to see how he's going to handle things, and they like the fact that he's not blaming other people because I thought he struggled. The only thing that's going to help him, though, reps. No matter how many big games you played in college, how well you do in practice, the reps in the real games, that's when you begin to grow as a quarterback. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point up and good by Garibay. And the route is on here in this first half. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Second down, here's Henry. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Go. On third down, it's Richardson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have a box first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. First and ten, it's Richardson. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Slot man moves right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team right on the midfield stripe. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. Got a man open. It's Ross. So five yards here. Five on the play. 
And now it's third and three. I thought once he got out of the pocket, he was looking further downfield. Instead, he brings his sight lines back to a shorter route, settles on his receiver running the drag left to right, and they wind up not getting a whole lot out of that one. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And Ingram holds it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This is caught. A driving for the goal line, but he's marked down short. And with no timeouts, no chance to get the field goal unit out there. And frustration going to set in as that is going to be how this first half will come to a close. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Go, Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you still have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after them. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Going for it on fourth, Richardson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. A quick throw now complete to Ross. Touchdown! John Ross. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Garibay. And it is 42 to nothing. The Garibay back out there now to send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
Picked off by Damone Clark. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Garibay on for the extra point. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. The disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is don't quit competing. Inside handoff, Henry. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Thomas, the man in motion left. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Bad time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. And the slot man goes in motion left. Richardson looking to throw. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Richards into the air on first down. He completes this to Russell Gage. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The handoff running left, Henry. And some space here. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. First down Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And right side, Henry's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And yeah, that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches.
Back to throw. Here's Richardson. This will go to Henry out wide. And he is going to have a box first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. A first down carry for Henry. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Going quickly here. And a loose football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. There he goes, left side. Past the 20. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got it and took off, there was no catching it. And I know every team tells you to hustle no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. Oh, a mistake there. The kickoff out of bounds. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. First down, Richardson. Dancing to his left. And this one too low. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten. Back to the air with Richardson. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Richardson. Blitz coming and down he goes. The Bucks on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and 16. Third and long for Richardson. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 19. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. zone now they'll look to throw 
And now here is another interception. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They were in the 46 defense just plugging up the middle. And you know what the 46 means, right? That means you take up the first three guys, the center and the two guards. You cover them with your big people up front. I don't understand why you're trying to run up the middle against the 46 defense. The old bear showed us it wasn't able to be done. They didn't get it done on that one either. Here's Prescott. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Up huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here now, Johnny Townsend. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And take it right at the 35. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Richardson looking to throw this. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing here, Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. The 40. The 20. And it's a defensive return for a late touchdown. So they still need somewhat of a miracle here, but at least that gets them a little bit closer. And at this point, after that return for a touchdown, I guess the only thing is you're asking what else could go wrong. Not only that, I think that between the two of us, we thought this was over before. I believe now it's really over. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Following the fumble recovery, Richardson. 
for the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And checking the timeouts. They do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 51 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Well, Prescott here to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete partner in the sportsmanship handbook is something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout but these defenders they also know this is the nfl and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns so the failure to connect on second down that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight now a give here to Pollard. And he's got some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. But things looking much rosier for him here in week two. They work with the lead as they've got it first and 10. It was Jamel Dean who came up to make the tackle. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Check mash. Check mash. Uses a stiff arm. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the nine. So naturally, they will decline it. They got the first down anyway on the play. Who needs a penalty when you picked up the first down through hard work and effort anyway? First down. Pollard going to try the right side. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Well,